Hello. In this tutorial, I will show you how to select or unselect one or more objects. Before start, you should have a previous knowledge about the generalities of 3D rendering methods and how to navigate the scene. For this, you can check my other tutorials in the webpage www.macrotutorials.com. Now, to select an object, left click over it. It is very simple, isn't it? To unselect this object, left click on an empty space. Like this. Note that when you select an object, appears this selection brackets. This white line is like the corners of a bounding box. This bracket is to indicate a switch is the object or object selected. If you don't want to see this bracket just press the key J in the keyboard. And now the brackets doesn't shows up, and for make it reappear, press again the J key on the keyboard. This is not the only way to know if an object is selected, also you can use the edged faces as rendering method. This method, as I've shown you before, can be enabled doing right click in the name of the viewport and click on etched faces. And when you select any object, this appears with the edges on white. And to disable this, do the same. Also, you can use to the render option of display selected with edged faces that you find in the configuration window making right click on the button at maximized viewport toggle in the tab of rendering method. And here enable this option. Display selected with edged faces, click the OK button. And when you select an object this appears with the edges on white. See it. Now another object. Just left click over it. And if you want to select other more. To select more than one object, you can press in the keyboard that key control and hold it, and select another object. Now, you have two objects selected. And if you keep pressing the control key you can add more objects to your selection. Like this. To unselect only one object, press again the control key in the keyboard and hold it down. And click in the object that is already selected. So, the object is not longer selected. And to unselect another, keep pressing the control key and make left click at the object that you want to unselect. To unselect all the objects at once, just do left click on an empty space, and is ready. Well, to select several objects at once, make left click on an empty space and hold it down, and move the mouse. Then, appears this dotted rectangle. Try to unclose all the objects that you want to select. And to end, release the left mouse button. This way, you can select all the objects that are inside and also the ones that the rectangle touches. If you want to select only the objects that are completely inside the rectangle, you have to push this button. The button window crossing. This button is two positions, the current position is for select all the object that the rectangle touches, and if you click here, this changes, now the black circle is inside the dotted square. This means that only selects objects that are completely within the rectangle. Now, if you click on an empty space, hold it and move the mouse. Appears the dotted rectangle. Note that when you release the left mouse button, just select the objects that are completely inside the rectangle. But, 3D Studio Max offers more options. Near the button window crossing is the button of selection region. This button allows to select a different type of region. The current region is a rectangle, but clicking and holding down, the program shows this options. Moving here is a circular region, and release the mouse. When you try to select several objects at once, there is no longer the rectangle, but there is a circle. When you release the left mouse button, all the objects that are completely inside the circle are selected. But, if you want to select everything that touches the circle. So, may click at the button window slash crossing and this button changes. Now shows this dotted square with a black circle crossing the border. This means that now the circle will select all the object that touches and also the objects that are inside. Let's see another selection region. Click here at the button of selection region and choose this fence. With this you can create your own shape for select objects. Just do left click and hold it down on an empty space and when you move the mouse appears this dotted line and releasing the left mouse button. This line is ready. And making left click on other empty space, you can continue creating lines, like this. This way, you can create a close shape to surround the object that you want to select. To end the shape, just click in the initial point. When you move the mouse over this point, the mouse pointer changes to a cross, and click. And is ready. Remember, to unselect all, just click on an empty space. The next selection region is the lasso region. This one. 
is very useful to select several objects when they are surrounded by more objects in a complex scene. To use it, click on an empty space and hold it down, then move the mouse, and while you move it, appears this path. This twisted dotted line. And try to unclose the objects that you want to select. When you release the left mouse button selects the objects. Remember, now this is selecting everything that the lasso touches. To select only the objects that are completely inside, you have to click this button. The button window slash crossing. When this shows the circle over the side of the square, you select all the objects that are inside and the objects that touch the selection region. And, when shows the circle inside the square, you want to select the objects that are completely inside the selection region. Well, the last selection region is the paint selection region. This is a pretty cool tool. When you press the left mouse button and holding it, the mouse is surrounded by a dotted circle. See? It is like the brushes in the photo edition programs, like paint or photoshop and moving it over the objects that you want to select. You can select several objects with precision, using this technique. To change the size of the brush, I mean, the circle around the mouse. Right click on the selection region button. And this opens the preference settings window. In the general tab. In the scene selection group, you can change the brush size. And, here is another cool tool, you can enable the auto window slash crossing by direction, by default is right to left, but also you can choose from left to right. And click in OK, apply the changes. The auto window slash crossing by selection is a way to select all the objects that touches the selection region or only the objects that are completely inside the region, with the direction of the movement of the mouse at the moment of the selection. For example, choose the rectangular selection region. Note that the button at window slash crossing is on the position to only select the objects that are completely inside the selection region. And, try to select these two objects. If you make it from the left to the right, this only selects the objects that are completely inside the rectangle. But if you do it from the right to the left, this selects not only the objects that are completely inside, but also, the objects that touch the border of the selection region, in this case the rectangle. And to unselect all, just click on an empty space. And finally exists another way to select one or more objects, and it is using the button of select by name. When you click on it, this window shows up, and here, you find a list of the objects in the scene, arranged by their names. Also, you have information about the type of the object, color and a number of faces. You can select one object just clicking on the name in the list and click on the OK button. And pressing the key control on the keyboard, you can add more objects to your selection. And clicking on select, you can. In virtue selection, select all the objects or don't select anyone. And here you find more options to select objects and to configure the search options. So, if you want to select all the objects, but not the green sphere, just select sphere in the list. And click select. And click on select invert. Now, if you click the OK button, all the objects are selected, but not the sphere.